Hi, welcome to Barcode Scanning. In this section, we're going to discuss implementing barcode scanning on the device and trying out barcode scanning. Implementing barcode scanning on the device. In this video, we're going to discuss working with Firebase Vision Barcode Detector, detecting the camera feed image, and displaying the results on the screen. Looking back to our case switch code, this time we're going to open up barcode detection and for that we want to look at barcode scanning processor. Once again, barcode scanning processor follows the same structure as all the other detectors where it implements vision processor base and this time it returns a list of Firebase vision barcode. Now let's look at Firebase vision barcode. The first thing we'll notice here is all the different formats and these are all different types of barcode formats that can be scanned. So some of the famous ones that we'll be familiar with here is UPC, QR code, ITF, code 3993, 128. And by default, of course, it selects all formats. So it just picks up whatever it can find. Now, in our constructor here, as expected, we have a Firebase Vision Barcode Detector. And we're instantiating it in an expected way here. And we'll notice here in the Google sample code, it gives us this options, but it's commented out. And the note here says, note that if you know which format or barcode your app is dealing with, detection will be faster to specify the supported barcode formats one by one. So that means if we know we're expecting QR codes, then we should put this in because it'll be faster. But if we don't know, and we want the app to be able to detect any kind of code or barcode, then we should leave this out and it'll basically pick up whatever barcode we put in front of it. So that's the Firebase Vision Barcode Detector class. And we, by now we should be very familiar with detect an image and that it only does one thing and that it invokes detect an image with the Firebase Vision image object. And then finally, we'll look at the on success method which displays the results onto the screen. So from here, we have a list of barcodes, which are actually Firebase Vision barcode objects. And from here, we're gonna get each one and we're gonna plug it into barcode graphic. Now let's look at barcode graphic. So barcode graphic, what it does basically is it draws a rectangle around the bounding box of the barcode. And again, there's a very helpful method here. So our, our barcode here is a Firebase Vision barcode, and it gives us this nice method called get bounding box. So again, we don't need to do a bunch of different calculations. And from here, we can just draw rec.left equals transit x rec.left. So it's very straightforward, very simple stuff to draw onto the canvas. And finally, we draw the text where we get barcode.get raw value. So again, a very simple helper method which extracts the, the actual numbers of the barcode that we are detecting. And again, these are just the bounds of the text box that will be drawing on the canvas. So here we can do a bunch of different things. We can say something like detected and then plus barcode.get raw value. And again, here you can do anything you want. So one of the things you can do you can take the raw value here and you can search it. So for example, if you have a database of products, you can set up your application to scan the barcode using MLKit. And then using barcode.getRawValue, you can then get the numbers that were detected. And then you can search that number in your database and retrieve the product or the book or whatever the case may be that your application is using to scan. And that pretty much sums up barcode graphic and barcode scanning processor. Again, it is built and designed in a similar fashion to the other processors. And because of that, we should be able to do a lot of different things with MLKit very easily.